Bird Island, the air temperature was 71 degrees. The water temperature was 72 degrees. Winds were out of the west at 8 knots, with gusts as high as 9 knots. The water level was 1.39 feet above mean sea level. At Baton Bay, the air temperature was 69 degrees. The water temperature was 75 degrees. Winds were out of the southwest at 9 knots, with gusts as high as 10 knots. Hey guys, Boondocking with Dennis. That is the Running Snail Emergency Radio. It was on my Amazon wish list, and it was an awesome gift from Jamie Macon. Jamie, thanks again. I actually got this from Jamie several months ago, and I wanted to use it. Make sure I knew all about it. Give it a test before I did a review. I'm very happy with it, guys. Um, I've had it bouncing around my glove box. I take it out once a week and use it, and it still looks brand new. Um, Running Snail has several different versions. I'm going to put a link in the description on Amazon to this one if you want it. I don't get anything out of it. I just think it's a good product. And um, I wish I had had this during the hurricane. One of the features that I really like about it, there's three ways to charge it. Um, you can plug it into a USB port, and that's the way they recommend you charge it. Uh, it also has a solar option. You can uh, put it out in the sun. It'll charge itself. You're out camping. You're stuck with no power. Uh, that's going to come in real handy and it's got a hand crank uh, you need power real quick you can crank it up it's going to work for you right away am fm radio uh, a weather band channel it gets good reception uh, slightly static on the uh, weather band channel but nothing that bothers me i have to get out into a clear area and that improves it drastically um, it also will charge your uh, other portable devices, so that is amazing to me. It's kind of like a little built-in power bank. Matter of fact, if, if you had that extra power bank and this, you, you would be good in an emergency situation. I would recommend you have both in your go bag. Uh, they do recommend that you charge this uh, to its fullest uh, at least once every three months. I've been doing that about a, uh, once a month, depending on how much I use it. Uh, it comes with really good instructions. You can see uh, it, it, ha it takes uh, two different size uh, cords on the side, depending on if you're charging something. Mine's set up from my iPhone. And, um, of course, the cord comes out. It's got this little flap so you can seal it. That'll help uh, keep everything clean. Yeah, just a basic model. Comes in different colors, actually. I kind of like this red and black one. Just uh, looks like an old transistor radio, volume tuning, a little slider. I really like this strap on the side because when I'm using it, I can hang it up in the back of the truck. You can attach it to a backpack. Uh, it's got a folding antenna that pops up. This is the hand crank, which uh, is pretty cool to me. That's like some old time stuff, you know. But a, a cloudy day, your battery's dead, your phone's dead. You can crank this up and uh, charge your phone. So to me, like, that's really cool. That's just that uh, old technology that uh, still works, you know. Guys, this is uh, $16.91 on Amazon. You can look around for a better price if you want. Like I said, link in the description. Great gift, Jamie. Thank you very much. Everyone, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I'm not a review guy, but I really recommend this product.